does she know you loved her? How does she know she's yours? I can show you the world, shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last? We represent your heart the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild. We represent the Lollipop Guild. We welcome you to Munchkin Land. One singular sensation. Every little step she takes. One thrilling combination. Every move that she makes. Woo! Don't you just love me? so uplifting. Oh, they make the world a better place? <laughs> Not if you go to Malcolm X Jefferson Elementary. There they have this choral director, Miss Heine. Who is arguably possessed by demons. Who kind of ruins the whole theater experience for fifth graders. So join us in watching Malcolm Y. Washington sadly presents a high school musical. Please enjoy Malcolm X Jefferson Elementary proudly presents a fifth grade production of A Chorus Line. By Gregory T. Burns. Dear Diary, Today, we were all assigned roles for our upcoming fifth grade production of A Chorus Line. I didn't get an on-stage role, but Miss Hino, our choral director, asked me to be stage manager. Mom's happy I won't be on stage, because she thinks Miss Hino is nuts for choosing such a mature musical in the first place. Tomorrow, she wants us all to sit in the front row of the auditorium, while she choreographs Henrietta and Hillary in their big number at the ballet. <laughs> Ever. 
Dear Diary, Miss Heino thinks we have potential, so she started pulling out all sorts of weird acting exercises at rehearsals. Children, today we're working on the big Zack and Cassie scene. So, Rosary, go to the back of the auditorium. We'll read right here. Now, Zack and Cassie had a past. They once lived together. <gasps> Miss Heino! Yes, Bertha? Um, are Zack and Cassie married? No, no, they never got married. <laughs> well, then that's a sin! My mother said that two people living together without being married is a sin, and Santa's go to you know where. Children, do any of you live by yourselves? No parents, no children, no foster siblings, no one. Are any of you married by chance? No. Well, it seems to me like you're, you're all sinners. Every one of you is a sinner. Now, what you think about that as we continue rehearsal? So, Maria, I want you to try a little improvisation with Rodrigo. Talk about your past. Have you and Rodrigo ever gone steady together? Go Ross! Rodrigo, I want you to hold Maria's hand. No! I'd rather have to stick Sarah's crippled hand in my mouth! Rodrigo, you better watch out. When my broken fingers heal, I'm going to give you a knuckle sandwich. Okay, children! Ready on the stage? Lights and action! So, Cassie, what brings you to my audition? I want to dance, Zach. I need to dance. I need his music and a beer. I did chance to dance for you. Why did you leave me, Cassie? Why did you leave? Okay, um, that was good. Let's make this a little more personal. Can I make you think of an instance? We're at the same place at the same time. Outside of school. I've got him, Miss Heino. Follow me, Rodrigo. Remember when you came to my birthday party, Rodrigo? I said. Of course I remember, Maria. I mean, Cassie, there were cupcakes there. They were delicious. I can't remember. <coughs> Did you bring me a birthday present? No, I didn't. I forgot. You forgot to bring me a birthday present to my birthday party on my birthday! Look! My family can't even afford to go to Disneyland, and you're upset because I didn't bring you a birthday present on your birthday? Is that why you left me? I left you because I looked away for a moment, and when I turned back, you had a cupcake in your hand and a booger on your finger! I knew it! I knew you saw me! I'm sorry! I thought you were going to be turned around longer! My nose was itching! I had to pick it! So I did. I picked it, and you turned around and saw it. But then you turned away again. And then I turned around one more time, and it was gone. The bugger was gone. Because I flicked it. You did not do it. Did not. Yes, oh. Okay, children, great improvisational work, especially with that bugger part. You know, some would say it's funny, but I say it's not. <laughs> Dear Diary, Yesterday afternoon, Miss Heino went crazy, and the police were called in everything. It all started at her final dress rehearsal. I thought everything was going great, considering we were basically a bunch of fifth graders trying to put on a show originally intended for adults. But then the little things started happening. Sarah had too much emotion, started bawling <laughs> on stage. Then Rodrigo started flicking boogers at Maria during the big Zack and Cassie scene. Then this big lady <coughs> stormed into the auditorium looking for a little songbird. Me? Miss Heino called her a two-timing cellmate, grabbed Alice's crutches and screamed, But I'm going to come with this crutch! And started hitting ladies as hard as she could. Then, Violet ran to tell the principal, who called the police, who had a really hard time getting the crutch away from Miss Heino. Then the woman named Butch said she was going to press charges. But the last thing we saw was the police taking Miss Heino out in handcuffs, and our principal telling us our show had been canceled. But then today, <laughs> Miss Jones introduced us to our new choral director, <laughs> Miss Helen Wheels. <laughs> who told us how sorry she was our show had been canceled, but she wanted to announce auditions for our new spring music. <laughs> Rent. <laughs>